Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Grand Theft Auto Vice City. And this place is ours! It's awesome! I'm still trying to wrap my head around the fact that we bought this entire place, all of this, for only 60 grand. I, I, I can't wrap my head around that. We bought the Malibu Club, or whatever the fuck that was, for double the price, and this is like 20 times bigger. I don't know, I mean, it's not in, like, the best of shape, but it's certainly, you know, worth more than that. I, I don't know. Let's, let's see what we got. We got stuff to do today with the recruitment drive. Action. I see Whoa. some porn going on here. Now that's big. Twelve inches. That is regulation, baby. <laughs> Twelve inches? That's, like, one inch less than the largest documented <laughs> size idiot? ever. You, you, why are you in my space? I don't believe why? it's that big. What is all this I don't. Crap? Aliens, baby, fishing are. poles. Who's ever seen a shark that big? In All Sharknado, go. the second one. Why'd you get in this business, you prick? Huh? For the pussy. That's why. What is this? This. It's a very is poorly put together arc. porn set, is what Security. that is, Mr. Mercedes. Look, you pompous asshole. I own you now. I own all of this. With you and your gross around. shirt and I'm chest make hair. You rich. Uh, you're you you're Tommy Vassetti, but I thought that you were. That's right. We're going to be making some changes around here and start making some real money. And that real money starts with you, you taking your damn sunglasses off inside. Yeah, girls are fine, but you, wow. What's that guy think this is? Some free art crap? Jeez, like anyone ever Candy watched Candy sucks. About fish. What kind of name of a person is that? Like, what What person anywhere, like, for, a, for like a porn name or like a stripper stage name, who would ever pick the name Candy Sucks? Like, I get it. She's not meaning, like, candy sucks in, like, the I don't like candy sense of the word. She's meaning it more in, like, the, oh, like, candy sucking a penis. That's what she's talking about. But still, like, that's a really crappy name, and I'm not down with it. But I am down with taking this awesome, totally pimped-out van. That's what I'm down with. Oh, yeah. The Gang Burrito. That's the name of this car. What will they think of next? Yeah. yeah. Okay, here we go. By the way, I have things to talk about today. I got, thi I got like three things to get off of my chest today, and two of them I'm not happy about. The third one is actually kind of funny, but, but the, 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 first, the first two of them I am not particularly excited about and it starts this way <laughs> sorry I just had to do that I love I love killing people on bikes because it's just so easy I mean they're just asking for it but yeah dude, the White Sox again again they did not fail to disappoint me again like I'm at the point where I should like start making money off of this I I like I can accurately guess what's going to happen in one of their games if the game is tied after seven innings. I just know it. They're going to blow the lead in either the eighth or ninth inning. Just, it always happens. They'll give up the one run and they won't be able to score, or they'll tie the game up and lose an extra innings. I mean, that's just, that's how it happens every time. I called it in the seventh inning tonight. I was like, hey, guess what? The game's tied. They are going to give up at least one run in extra innings. I swear on my life. And what do they do? They give up two runs in the tenth inning via a home run and nothing else. Oh no! Oh god. And we don't have any guns! Oh my god! This is a terrible time to not have any weapons. Oh. Get in the car. Get in the car. We're gonna run him over. We're gonna run the bitch over! Ooh. Here we go. Ah. Yeah! Yeah, get up, I dare ya. Okay, here we go. And we got his gun, and we got a bat. And some money. So that's good. Oh! Did somebody get away? Did somebody get away from me? I think somebody got away from me. And if you're not going to underwrite the station, well, I can't you gonna get in the car? You're not gonna get in the car. Okay, we just we just gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go deal with this this escaping little blip on the map here. Oh no. Oh god. We're not gonna get over there. He's gonna get away. No. We can't let him get away. Oh no. He's gonna totally get away. I mean, this is definitely a faster minivan, but I I don't know if we're gonna be able to catch up to him. So yeah, that's that's the White Sox debacle. I'm not down with that mess. But the slightly funnier thing is, uh, I don't know how many of you guys watch the VMAs. I, 
I personally don't watch it because, I don't know, I'm tired of seeing all the same fucking people on that show all the time. And it's like, the same people always win everything, so it's just like, who cares? But, apparently, uh, Miley Cyrus won something. Oh, here we go. Oh, baby. Hey, you want some of this? Alright, see you guys later. All right, here we go. I'm coming for you, and I am going to dole out some pain unless you do it to yourself first. But yeah, apparently Miley Cyrus won something, and then she had, like, some homeless kid come out and accept her award, which was weird, by the way. Uh-oh. Where is he going? Did he really think that that was the answer? Apparently he did, and I can't shoot at him because there's the cop right there. You know what? I don't care. Oh, no. No! My crazy awesome pimp van has gone to a different dimension. Um, yeah, so they had she had this homeless kid go up there and accept the award, and he went on some little rant about helping homeless kids, which was cool. Like I, I understand that. That's 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 a cool cause to you know want to get people on board for. But then we find out today that this kid, believe it or not, has a warrant out for his arrest in none other than my home state of Oregon. Nonetheless, he is actually a native. Where are all these people coming from? That's like the tw that's like the twelfth person to get out of this car. Oh, I'm gonna kill you so hard. I am going to kill you so hard. There we go. Now we got him. You ain't getting away now. Not. Oh, there you go. No, you. Go back. Now we have to go all the way back and get candy? Are you kidding me? Oh no. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we're fine. So yeah, he has a warrant out for his arrest in the state of Oregon. And uh, he's a native of West Salem, which is just like... It's like ten minutes away from where I live. Like, and I actually know... Um... Yeah, it's it's crazy. Like I don't I don't know this kid. I, I don't. I have no idea who he is. But yeah, he's uh, he's definitely wanted by the uh, Oregon police, and so I figure he's probably not going to come back over here anytime soon. And the reason why he has a warrant out for his arrest is because he tried to break into an apartment complex with a friend of his to steal marijuana from his dealer because he got a batch of bad pot. And so he, what better a way to stick it to your dealer? than stealing all of the rest of his supposed bad pot. Like, what's that gonna solve? This pot sucked! You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna steal the rest of it, because it sucks! And I can just sell it for money. And, you know, <laughs> because it's obviously not there, I can just distribute the bad pot to someone else. And so, they broke in. They didn't steal anything, because they heard... Uh, I, I don't know why, I, I don't really know the whole story too well, but... They broke in, didn't steal anything, and then he ended up... Um, he ended up getting arrested for that, I believe, and then he violated parole, and he failed to perform, you know, community service, and all sorts of other useless crap, and now he's wanted by the Popos for it. So there's that. Nothing like... Miley Cyrus doing the ultimate Miley Cyrus thing by trying to improve her PR just to have it, you know, slam back in her face because the homeless kid she gets ends up being, you know, a fugitive from the law. We're fugitives from the law. We're up to our elbows in cash. And there's no one who even knows about it. So, yeah, I, I thought that was funny. It's just... It's funny to see Oregon come up in the news for things because, let's be honest, Oregon's not really a high-profile state for most things. And it just, it's so fitting that you find out that the kid that's, you know, a fugitive from the law for, a, for you know, attempted robbery of pot ends up being from Oregon. <laughs> it's just always funny. You never, you never hear enough of that, and it's always just a joy because you're just like, yep, there you have it. And then the other thing that pissed me off, um, was, I kinda sorta have a big problem with the way, where the hell are we going right now, I kinda sorta have a big problem with the way that, um, ooh, I don't really need that, but it's glad to, I'm glad to know that it's there, I have a problem with the way that Sonic, uh, goes about their business of conducting, you know, helping people in drive-thrus, I absolutely hate it, I can't stand it. 
where are we supposed to go right now? I, I, I'm kind of confused right now. Like, where in the hell is this, like, telling me to go? Do we go into this pizza joint or what? Because it doesn't look like it. But, you know what? Maybe it is. If I can find my way to the front of the building. Uh huh. It is. Dun dun dun. Hey Tommy, you want a party? I do actually. You interested in doing some movies? Of course, as long as it's cheap and sleazy. Oh, it's cheap and sleazy. And if you don't do it, I'm gonna shoot you right square in your boobs. And I don't know what's up with this guy. He's like, oh, you you want to leave me? Nope. Nope. Not gonna let you. Nope. Me and my weightlifters gloves say no. Nope. Nope. Not at all. Not happening. Uh, but yeah, dude, I got a big problem with the way they go about that stuff, because it's fucking bullshit. So, I go there today for lunch, and I order I order the same thing every time, because I, I love their breakfast food. I got one of their, like, meat and cheese bur uh, breakfast burritos, and I got two of their little junior ones, and I got their jalapeno bites, and then I got, um, I got one of their green apple slushies with the nerd's candy in it, because, you know, that's just fucking awesome on every level. And so I go, you know, I go up to the window and, you know, I pay and I get my slushy and I wait and a car pulls up behind me and another car pulls up behind them and another car pulls up behind them. And next thing you know, there's five people in line. And, uh, I mean, let's, let's just go over classic drive through, you know, classic drive through instructions. You deal with the person that ordered their food first. Like, they have full priority in the matter. What in the world? Why did that happen? <laughs> I didn't realize that would launch me over everything. But, I mean, is that not the way it's always been? You take care of the person that ordered first so that they don't have to wait the longest. But not when you're at Sonic. Oh, no. They have this, this complex where... They feel the need that they have to help everybody all at the same time, regardless of what order you ordered your, your stuff in. And I hate that. So, it ends up being this way. I ordered, you know, like a moderate amount of food. Like, it wasn't a crazy large amount. But I was the last person to get, my, to get all of my stuff. The last one. Like, the people that were directly behind me had, like, five drinks, and they had a bag full of food. And they ended up getting all their stuff before I did. And everybody that was behind me in line all got their stuff before I did. And I still had to wait almost another, like, five to eight minutes for the rest of my food. And I'm just sitting here like, Are you fucking kidding me? Like, it's not like I ordered the entire place. Like, what the hell? Like, did I do something to piss you off? I mean, I, it couldn't have been that crazy. I mean, for God's sakes. It was just bullshit like ah yes dildo dodos you know the old sex toy extinct birds how's filming going steve well candy is a natural and that new girl she's insatiable she went through half the cast and crew before i even took a light reading anyway hey tomorrow we're going on location to shoot the boat scenes boat scenes what boat scenes the fishermen are in the throes of passion when the giant shark comes in. What I say about the giant shark? <sighs> it's like I said, no. It's giant like the shark, extended right? version of Captain Just keep Stabbing. Just pointed at the poon tag. Okay, okay. Hey, Tommy, you guys got to try, right? Get those flyers printed up. Yeah, but nobody's going to let us distribute those things. I mean, they're just <laughs> too, uh, they're unimaginative. You don't worry about that. I've got my own ideas for distribution. Okay. Yeah, I may or may not own a couple of helicopters in the area, so don't you worry about me. I'll figure it out. There is an, a seaplane that was used as a prop in some old indie film in the back of the studio. Well, that sounds lovely. But, yeah, dude, I just... that's Like, am I the only person that thinks that that's total bullshit? Because I feel like the last thing that you want to do is you want you don't want to have people waiting forever, but... You know, you don't want to have people waiting forever that were the ones that ordered first. So, I don't know. Call me crazy. I just, uh, I don't know. Things like that really piss me off. Pick one of the checkpoints to start dropping the flyers from. Okay. We will do it as soon as we can get up in the ur. Yeah. Now, how do we drop flyers? That's a better question. I don't know how to do that. Uh... Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. I was the wrong button. 
I was I totally did not mean to do that at all. And we are going to die. Yep. <laughs> oh. I got a way to put your flyers up. I'm gonna fucking kill myself. Yeah <laughs> That's that's the way. That's that's the way that you that's how you promote your business, by just ending your own life. I mean, how much better of a lay... I mean, it, it helped Tupac. It, he, he got more publicity when he was dead than he did when he was alive. In a very similar fashion may go for plenty of other people. I mean, I mean uh, Biggie Smalls, probably the same thing. Um, I mean, just there's a whole bunch of different celebrities in different scenarios that got way more publicity after they died than when they were alive. So, you know, there's that. So may maybe that's what we need to do in order to promote this business. I mean, then Sony won't have to worry about killing me because I'll already be dead. So, I mean, that just fixes up his own job for him. Aside the fact that he still won't have his money, and uh, then, he I mean, he'll just be out in a certain sense. So basically, we just need to get over to these areas is what we need to do. But yeah, so that's my thing. On the, on the other side of the coin, the food was awesome. I mean, I, I am a man that loves a good old-fashioned Sonic breakfast burrito, and I do love Sonic slushies from here until the fucking cows jump over the moon while they're reading Mein Kampf upside down. But it's just... Like, I, I work in customer service, and the last thing you want to do is you don't want to make your customers that have been there longer than other people wait longer than the other people. Like, the other people that just got there, they can wait a minute because they got there last. So, you know, I don't know. It's, there's fucking, there's weird things that happen in this world. And we've got limited amounts of fuel, so we gotta be careful with this. Okay, now we're cooking with propane here. We are, we are cooking with organic vegetable oil because duh, duh, duh. Oh, wow, we are really, we are really moving now. No, oh, organic everything! Alright, here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. I don't have to push any goddamn buttons. He'll just throw out immeasurable amounts of flyers. Like, how many flyers did he pack into this thing? Oh, okay. This is good. This is good. I don't know if we're gonna have enough... The thing that I, that I fear here is that we may not have enough fuel to be honest with you here, to be honest, Wagner. So we got a long way to go still. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh yeah. God, I, there, need, there needed to be a lot more missions involving planes, because I love these missions. They're fun. Like, uh, I love being able to go around, you know, around the city without being constrained by, you know, roads and fucking Boats. I hate boats so much. Boats are bad for your soul and for your hole and your dick and everything else. It's just, you know, like the more cool things that we can do from the sanctity of a flying vehicle, the better. Oh no! Oh, oh, hairpin turn! Oh my god, that was awesome. See, that, that is what world class, you know, controls are all about. That and I am just really fucking good at everything. <laughs> Watch, you just wait. Every time that I toot my own horn is when everything's gonna go upside down on me. I'm gonna like crash head first into a palm tree and my entire life is gonna go up in a cloud of smoke immediately. Like, hey, I'm better than everybody at this. <laughs> You're wasted. Actually, we're doing a lot better than I thought. Like, I'm, I'm not terrible at controlling things, unless it comes to fucking boats, but I'm actually kind of surprising myself that this is going over as well as it is. I was, I was, I was going to guess, you know, at least once we were going to have to restart this mission, not because of me, you know, committing suicide by jumping out of the, the plane, but just because I wasn't going to be able to, like, I was going to have, like, you know, hitting a building or just, like, accidentally having my finger slip off of the controls or something in a very tight-knit area, and I would have just, you know, ruined the whole thing for myself. Hey, we got it! That was extremely easy. Why can't they all be easy like that, man? And why can't everything control so fluid like this? Like, this is... This has to be one of the best, like, 
controlling vehicles in this game. Like, everything is uber responsive. I'm not having to deal with, you know, the plane sliding around everywhere like cars do, but obviously we're not dealing with tires here, so it's part of it. And, like, the boats, I mean, obviously there's water physics involved there, so, I mean, it's gonna happen. So, like, I can't fault, you know, the cars and the motorcycles and the boats. Like, I, I can't fault them for having their own, you know, having their own constraints for systems and whatnot, but planes, man! That's what it's all about. <laughs> I love that it just spawned me, like, 10 feet outside the door, but hey, whatever. Whatever. Things went well today, damn it. That's what I'm gonna say. Things went well. We didn't get a whole lot of money out of it, but we still got the missions done, and that's the important thing, because doing things is good. It is. And now, what I'm gonna go do is I am going to get up, I'm gonna go down the hall, into the latrine, I'm going to pull my pants down and sit down on this kind of like oval shaped thing that's connected to the septic tank below my house and I'm going to push old food that I ate like a few hours ago into that and then push this little lever thing down and then water's going to come out of nowhere and send it all the way down in there and sewage ahoy, you know? It's going to just go everywhere. I mean, technology. Heck, fucking knowledge That's that's what's up. Ah, life is cool. <laughs> and that rant was 100% unnecessary. So until next time, my friends, this is AMF saying thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.